Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mike Levitsky, and welcome to day 11 of our Video A Day Street. Today we're going to take a short break from lessons, and we're going to take a look at a Junior Ludwig snare drum. We're going to see what it currently sounds like, and if we can get it to sound any better. Making a video a day is tough, so hit that like button and encourage me to continue to stick with it and keep the material coming out on a daily basis. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss a thing. Now, let's take a look at this little tiny snare drum. This is a Ludwig Accent Series Junior Outfit snare drum. It is a 12 inch snare drum. It has uh, just the factory head on it, factory head on the bottom. It has this snare on it that you can see, uh, if you look closely, is put on there crooked. You can see on both sides it's put on there crooked so the snares don't lay quite right on the snare. It has die cast hoops and it has one, two, three, four, five, six lugs. So there's six lugs on this drum. Also, one thing I noticed when I started messing with this is the strainer, uh, it's not, it, this doesn't do anything. This just, <laughs> it's just a piece of plastic that unscrews. It doesn't actually adjust the snare. So the only adjustment we're gonna have in the snares is either on or off. So we're gonna have to adjust those best we can. Let's take a listen to this guy, uh, how, how it sounds right now, and then we'll see what we can do to make it sound any better. Here's what we got right now. Well, not the most exciting snare drum sound in the world, but let's see what we can do with it. So first thing I'm going to do is take this top head off and we'll put a new head on it. On the inside, we have uh, lost uh, one of the screws from one of the lugs. Anytime you're inside of a drum that you haven't been inside of for a while, um, it's a good idea, especially on these lower quality drums, to just go around with a screwdriver and check all of the lug screws. We've checked the inside. We've made sure all the, the lug screws on the inside are nice and tight. We're now going to look at the bearing edges. I'm not expecting much from these bearing edges, but uh, just look for kind of any nicks, gouges, any kind of major thing that might be wrong with it. You could, if you really wanted to, get a little piece of sandpaper and clean that up. The drum is a teeny tiny little bit out of round. Let's put a new head on it and see how we can get it to, to sound. So the only head that I had available to test this out with is this Remo Coated Emperor. So the head right now is pretty loose, lots of wrinkles. Let's tighten it up. All right, let's throw the snares on here we go. It sounds pretty cool. It sounds pretty cool, but I don't think that's gonna work out great for my son. Let's bring it up a little bit. At this point, it's not sounding too bad, actually. We got the top head tightened up pretty good. Let's see if we can do something about the snares. Now, the snares, it's important that the snares pull straight, and you can see that the snare uh, uh, strap on this is, is, is really crooked. Since our strainer doesn't really do anything, I'm gonna turn the strainer on, which is pretty straight. I'm gonna get this as straight as I can, and then tighten it down and see if that'll work. All right, guys, well, that's about the best I can do with this. Let me talk about a couple of the problems. One, the snares are really need to be replaced, so that's tough. Two, I really should replace the bottom head, but I don't have one. Three, we probably can try an ambassador on the top to give it a little bit more of a different sound. The main problem with this drum is that the strainer has no ability to fine tune adjust the snares. So like you just, they're either off or on. And so you have to try to set them with your hand tension, which is really difficult. You tell me, what do you think? How do you think this drum sounds? I think we did the best that we could. If you have a snare drum like this, a Ludwig Jr. kit, or just kind of a budget drum set, just know that if you mess around with your drums enough, you can get a great sound out of them, or at least a sound that, that you like. So you can experiment with different heads, you can experiment with 
different kind of muffling techniques. You can experiment with different tunings, the bottom head, the top head, go back and forth. Check out a channel called Sounds Like a Drum. Man, those guys are like wizards when it comes to drum tuning. Uh, they have an ability to tune drums that I don't have, and I've been playing drums for a long time. I can tune drums certain ways and, and get certain sounds, but those guys can just dial it in really quick. So if you want more information about how to tune a drum, go check out Sounds Like a Drum. I hope that helped you out. Let me go uh, and play you guys out on this little snare drum. Oh, one other problem is that uh, you can't get any much tighter on top of the top head because we're running out of rim, and then you're going to expose the bearing edge, and uh, that'll make this drum kind of susceptible to even more damage on the bearing edge. And so that's just kind of a problem with these type of rims on this little kind of cheap drum. Don't let your equipment stop you, though. I'm about to play a wicked sweet solo on this little guy. I fiddled with it a little bit more, and actually, this strainer does allow for the tension to be tightened and loosened. Uh, but I had to use a pair of pliers to get down in there and do it because this little uh, adjustment screw or knob uh, is just plastic and it just unscrews. Like it's not bound to anything. So when you try to loosen it, if the snares are too tight, which obviously somebody has cranked it down too tight, the whole screw itself just backs out. And so if that's the problem on your snare, you'll have to get some pliers and back it out. But uh, we worked with it a little bit more. I think this is a little bit better than the sound that I had left you with before but I don't know, so here is the sound that we have now. All right, guys, I hope that helps you out. I hope that encourages you that if you mess with your equipment enough, you can get it to sound pretty good. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to look at some beginner drum fills. We're also going to look at how to practice drums without a drum set. I'll see you tomorrow.